to draw different styles I don't want to limit myself so never limit yourself wait so you paint phone cases too? no people can get them get my art put on their phone cases oh Ooh, they can buy it or yes. pillows oh my goodness oh, look at that oh, get that you can make, make a phone cover shower curtains oh mm -hmm. alright beds, ribs, blankets I don't know what Oh, this, this is a puzzle. Oh, very neat. Oh, that's a puzzle. Do you have any open This is, I paint, I paint my tiles. Oh, I'm showing you guys my logo. So this is my logo. It looks like an eyeball, right? Yeah. Oh, get oh, it? I, I paint. paint. I paint. Yeah. It's like Miss Ewing's jokes. So the eye, eyeball is actually a, a paint palette. And I have the three primary colors because all colors come from the primary colors. Oh, yeah, I also have a palette. And you learned that from Miss Allen. Right here? Yeah. Wow. I thought it was, I thought it was catchy, so it's Yeah, of, I think it is. I think. I think so so cool. you run a business that, with yes. it. Yes. I think. Yes. Very cool. Yes. Are you the owner? So he I is have, the owner. I have people do my work all over the world. Wow, so you've been in galleries? Um, yes, California, New York, um, Missouri, uh, Canada. Wow. UK, so on. Which means a lot paintings like these that he's had and other artwork he's done, he's hung up. It's not a museum, but it's kind of like a museum, and people, people can go it. and look at the art and buy it. Right, right. 
That's so very cool. Fashion shows. Um, wow. This is, show that done. this is the designer. She creates clothes. Oh, cool. And um, she asked me to come face paint for one of the shows they were having. Oh. So this is before they put the clothes on, behind the scenes. Hey, Noah. It's like yours when you do you, your, 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 your Genoda paint. So it goes after they put the clothes on, you kind of see some of the, oh. some of the models. So he does his art on their face, and she does her art with the clothes they wear. These are some of my murals. There's a few. You did the Obama mural? Oh, oh wow. wow. When he first got elected, that's when I did it. Oh, wow. I remember that one. And, that, and that's in my, um, I, did, I did a, also did a copy of my mom's garage. Wow. You see the beach scenery right here? Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Football player. Oh, wow. Like that. That's the one Tyson picked. Where did you do it? Uh, so that's on a wall? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Tyson, would you like that in your bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> this is a movie reel. It's in someone's theater room in their home. Oh, wow. You see, I have it going all the way around the room. So sometimes you go in and paint people's hat in their homes. Yes. The yes. the walls in their house. Yes. What's your number? Wow. Well, What's your I number? <laughs> <laughs> That's so super cool. Oh wow. You want it, huh? Oh wow. Did you get all those? That's the one right there. Yeah. I tell people to get in their zone. When I say get in your zone, it means focus. A lot of times when I'm working, I gotta block out outside distractions. Like I'm not watching TV, I'm not on my phone, no YouTube. I'm just focused directly on what I'm doing. Mm. It helps bring the best out of my mind. That's like, important. How can I say, um, I don't limit myself. I like to be creative. That's why you see all the pictures look different. Like it's not just one style. Cause if I do one style, then I can't bring the best out of me. So I try to do everything that comes to my mind. That's good. You know, uh, if you do the same thing all the time, that's boring. Yeah, it's boring. And yeah, people only think that's all you can do. But you right. Do so one way I try to gain customers, you have to help them see your vision. So mm. I have to show them how this painting would look in their home. Oh. I have to use like different apps and stuff to okay. put in place in the room. You can see. I like that. Yep. Oh, they have apps where you can put the painting in. Like they take a picture of the room and then he can put the painting on the wall in the room. Yeah, they already have the, the room just upload to a photo. Into a, so this is Kids, like, oh, yes, of course. Oh, oh, oh. This is just some of my Spider designs. Man, Iron Man. Uh, I paint with no limitations, meaning I don't have a vision board. It's like you can only get a dragon and a Spider Man. And a no, you can get whatever comes to your imagination. Kids, kids have very um, creative imaginations. Yes. Um, one little girl asked me for a fox unicorn before. Oh. Yeah, like I never seen a fox unicorn, so I had to. He had to use his imagination. My imagination, creativity. I painted a fox, and then I put the uh, horn on for the unicorn and added some glitter. And that was her fox unicorn, and she loved it. You can see you have the Avengers, Spider Man, Iron Man. This is my unicorn. Um, Stitch. You guys seen that movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he, was a, he was a teenager, you know, teenagers are not cool. I asked him, what, <laughs> so what do you want in your face? He was like, mm, whatever. So um, I tried to make it match his shirt. Ah, there you go. Wow. Very cool. The cat and the boy dog. <gasps> uh, oh, Nora, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you want to tell something? Do you want to say something? So I've been painting different types of events, um, private events, parties, churches, everything. Like this month, I'm, I've got so many events coming up. Like, <laughs> You're busy. <laughs> this is probably my favorite event. It's called the Abilities Event. Oh. So it's for kids with um, disabilities. 
So with a lot of kids that are in wheelchairs, um, kids that were missing like limbs and stuff, like I mean, but they were like the happiest kids. They were yes. the sweetest kids. So, so in mind. order for me to so kind, of, kind of give them the experience of uh, kids like you, I had to pick some of them up out the wheelchair and put them in my face paint chair just so they can feel like, you know, the regular kids do it when they get in a um, face painting chair. Yes, like very cool. I love it. Um, this lady right here, um, I was her first face painter ever, and she was 88 years old when Aww. I painted her face. And she Aww, was the first time getting her face painted was at 88. Oh, um, help so. us. Look, he painted a painting of somebody painting their face. Slide me <laughs> She's a starfish. Oh, look, he's hugging yeah, This was at a middle school. Um, oh. I did a Halloween event at school. I was dressed like Fred from um, Scooby Doo. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, that's you funny. The, you the wig and the, yeah, that's funny. The kids love it, though. So, Ooh. this photo right here. Look. Oh, it's a real girl. Oh. Is it a real person? Look at uh, that. When I said find inspiration, these are creativity, that's what? where it came from. And he took the picture of her yeah. and was able to paint it. This was the actual little girl that I painted. How neat. I like the bright colors. They should shovel. So pretty. Did you shovel here? Like I said, this was autumn, right? So what you guys will call this one based on the colors? What season would mm. this be? Spring. Spring. I feel summer. Spring. Summer. 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 That's right. Summer. All right. So you can get one of your last two gifts. Oh. What is this? So what do you call that kind with all the different colors? Um, this is called an abstract. An abstract. Okay. Abstract. What season would this be? Uh, uh spring. Summer. Spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's the last gift, but. What do you say? Oh, oh. I'll put that. So I try, I try to stay creative and, you know, paint whatever comes to my mind. For my kids, I was painting for their room. Oh. I, I think I've seen that movie. Me too. I think it's called. I don't remember the movie, just, but I just took a photo of. Antlife? I think that one. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. That's so cute. So that's on their wall? Yeah, I, I paused the, um. The movie, I took a photo of it and I just painted the end, and this was the image that I That's so cute. That's funny. <laughs> so, have you always liked to draw and paint and all that? How yes. did you be, decide, I, I want to be an artist? I first started drawing when I was like in kindergarten and first grade. And just to, like a lot of you. I used to start, I used to uh, draw Ninja Turtles all the time. Oh. Uh, Ninja Turtles and sneakers and. The roses. I, get, I draw the roses for the girls a lot of times. But um, after that, I just kept practicing. I get home from school. I do my homework. I watch a few cartoons because we had cartoons that come on at three, yes. so probably four or five, and that was it. Yeah. You know, and then after that, I draw for about an hour or two. And I did this all the time, every day. And as I got my first time painting, actually on canvas, a canvas board like this. It was probably 11th grade. Mm. It was my first time actually painting. So if you guys are starting early, you can be better than me. Yeah. You know, just put the practice in. And I always practice, I always practice. I love to practice. That's and good. It, it doesn't feel like work because I'm doing something that I love to do. And I'm face painting these parties, and I have two, three, four parties in one day. I'm not really tired because I'm having fun. That's good. Then I get to go to four birthday parties. Yeah, you know, so lots of cake. <laughs> Remember when I said that earlier? You want when when you want to do a job, you want to do a job that you have fun doing. So um, I say, I say, be creative. I like to be creative with my paint. Ah. So you can see this paint. It's a monochromatic. What that means is all one color. Every color ah. here is made of a shade of purple. And you see the background. This part. The, if I kind of turn it a little bit, it kind of color shift. The color Ooh, will shift. Oh, yeah, like a passport. You see it? Oh. You see it? Yeah. Oh, that changes like color. Is that Whoopi? Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. for the color purple. I love it. And also, this is one of my um, favorite paintings. This is 
a heavy texture painting. So that's looks, what I like the texture. I like, like the gold. What does it look like? Uh, a bean. A rock. A rock. Does it look like wood? Does it look like paper? Metal. Metal. It looks hard, right? Like, yeah. Like maybe it'll knock somebody out. Yeah, I feel like it looks like metal. Yeah. But do you see all those ridges and bumps? That's, that's called texture. I love that. Oh, yeah. These that are texture paintings of well, these flowers. That so smooth. But I have Ooh. resin on it. Oh, it has a special gloss Why on top. Why is it and it takes about three days to dry. Okay. I mean, to dry. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's me. So you guys can touch it and see how it feels. So does anyone have any questions? Did you go to an art school? Did he? No, most of my... um. My practice came from from school, like just from practicing. first grade to twelfth grade. Like, yeah. Uh, so in high school, you took art. Yes, I did. Okay. I took. I, I focused on advertising and design. Oh, very when I good. Was in high school, so I took more art classes than the regular kid. You know I mean? <laughs> of course, because it's fun. Yeah. That's where my study was. You got a question? No. What's your question? Um, did you? Did you? Iron and then oh, and then and then use a hill. Okay, no, a bump right there. And then just um just and then use it and just let it sit out for two days. Okay, say it again. Did you iron and then and then did you use a hair blow and then Oh, a hair dryer to help it dry? Yeah. And then Oh, you talking about on the resin? Yeah. Oh, you seen videos when they kinda well, I use a um, hair dryer a little bit. Sometimes you gotta, um, well, not a hair dryer, I use a torch. Oh! Sometimes it makes bubbles when it's drying. So it'll pop that bubble and need some heat. So you get a torch <laughs> okay. and just kind of put a little heat on it. Well, um, when you're face painting, um, have you ever drawn the Chinese injury alignment on a, a, a face? I think I have, because I, I deal with so many different people <laughs> from. Asian, Chinese, Japanese, Indian, black, white. He probably Indian, has, but he's done so many. He's done forgot. so many, you know. And when I do birthday parties, I like to kind of give these kids. Um, oh. I have some that I write on personal messages. Y'all can pass them around and look at he it. He created a card. You see my, um, my logo is on it and everything. Oh, very good. How did you get that picture? Right here. Well, the artists don't always like The other one has has a special surface, so you can touch it. But we don't want to touch the oil painting. Yeah, a lot of times you don't want to touch the artwork because we have like grease and oils on our hands and dirt. So everybody touches it and then they get some No, it kind of runs and makes it dirty. And it's hard. You just look at it. Yeah, you Does that make sense? Yeah. Wow. So like some that's, people, that's when they're artists, they go to they they might go to an art school. But if you're like him and you have talent and you practice, 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 you can make your own business yeah, out of it. I, um, I'm always looking for different opportunities, you guys. I'm always very cool. Art gallery should be in events, parties, like it's a non stop. So you never, you never just say, oh, I'm going to stop painting. You got to keep going. Okay, that's enough. No, you got to keep going. Keep going. You can keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Very awesome. I didn't stop with art. I went to face painting as well. A lot of people just stopped with art, but I went to face painting. Yes. I also yes. talked you about my face painting. I wrote my book. Oh, very good. You know, so you keep going and going and going. Did you understand that, guys? He's able to use his art in lots of different ways because he didn't say, oh, I'm only going to paint on canvas. He said, okay, I can paint faces. I can paint murals. I can paint on people's walls. So this is why I wrote my book, You're the Face Painter. Ah, very inspirational. What do we tell Mr. Morris? Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, coming and speaking with us. Very interesting.
Oh, Miss Ewing, did you notice that? Yes, I saw that. Uh, I was telling that didn't you? Wait. What's All right. Can you push in your chair and pick up your things? Thank you, sir. Very, very neat. I love I know I've got a couple of people in here that really are very artistic and they draw all the time. Yeah, you're one of them. She goes home and creates. She is a paper ma magic person. She creates things. Things out of paper all the time. There's so many different ways. Even cardboard, yes. even cardboard. Yeah. Yes. Do you know tomorrow? Stop opening the door. Why was this on camera? Because I wanted to get you out and get in and talking with you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Where do you live? Where are you based out of? I'm based out of Garland Rowlett area. Okay. So right, right by Lakeway Harbor. Number? You guys, guess what? You can look it up. I'm, I bet if you look up I paint. Or you look at Taj Morris Artist, it'll pop up as well. You wrote well his too. name down, Taj to, Morris Artist. Go to Google. On Google. Taj Morris Artist and you'll see everything pop up. All right. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome.